where we're going. Most people here are black. And then there's some white people here, but then there are also white people that have lower income. We all know the pollution in Troy is bad. We all know the pollution in the Hudson is bad, but we don't know what to do because no one's working to help us. I feel like it just makes everyone feel like they're not cared about. Well, I knew the river was pretty close, but like, it's my first time really taking this route to see the river. Do you think that a lot of the rest of the community here also haven't really experienced this? To be honest, I don't even think many people know that the river is like right here. The river still needs help, and we are the ones that can help it. In this life, the true history is kept from our children. And in this life, whoa, I, illusion reigns. We are forming the Water Justice Lab at the Sanctuary for Independent Media in partnership with Riverkeeper to not only establish a water quality sampling lab for the Hudson River, but also to educate people about water justice. We learned this year that water justice is just one aspect of the broader environmental justice movement. Communities of color and low-income communities like North Troy are disproportionately impacted by polluting industries. Environmental racism is the disproportionate impact of environmental hazards on people of color. Over the course of spring 2021, we interviewed several people about their perspective on environmental justice and climate justice. Do you know what environmental justice is? Yes. All right. You tell me what environmental justice is from uh, your perspective. I think environmental justice is just like taking care of the planet and having like equal access to just like great resources from the planet for everybody. I think that's a great definition of environmental justice. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! And I understand environmental justice as a matrix. I, I see racism as that object that has evolved, right? And we can see through the lens of environmental justice how that impacts us in tangible ways. I, I take police brutality, for example, um, something that's unique um, to our communities and to our personal environments and understand that as an environmental justice issue. Climate justice is class justice and racial justice and all of those other things um, because those are the communities being hit by, most by it. This is the way it's always been from the start. Colonialism, like fueled by white supremacy, capitalism, it was all about ripping people's connections from the land. So we originally lived along the Mahikanatuck River, and that's the Hudson River. First it was the Dutch, then it was the French, then it was the English. It wasn't voluntary removal. We were forced every time. And then we gotta do it one more time. This is gonna be our actual sample. Tilt upstream, perfect. And then we're gonna pull it out, yep. And we're gonna cap it. Do we have the cap? So this weekend at Nature Lab, we are finally going to be testing 30 okay, samples right of water all along the Hudson River. And I feel like today we got a proper introduction from Sebastian. All of our water samples. All right, let's begin.
You grab the container, you'll put it under that light, and it's like a little case, and whatever containers glow, they're the ones that have bacteria in them, and you'll count how many there are, how many that glow, and you'll write down your recordings. So we can figure out like, is downstream more, have more bacteria than upstream, or is it the other way around, and just find patterns and certain things like that. What was more surprising to me was seeing the amount of pollution that was in the more polluted water, but it didn't surprise me that the more polluted water was from the more urban areas. I think people don't realize how closely related the environment is with racial discrimination. What we could do with the information is educate others and ourselves so then we can find out new ways and come up with new ways and ideas of trying to make the water better for these communities. In this life, the true history is kept from our children. And in this life, whoa, I, illusion reigns. In this life, we continue to seek answers from the lying leaders. In this life, we live for food and food alone Now see now I am so tired of witnessing children that are filled with need I am so tired of living in a world saturated with greed And see my, my spirit cries out against the injustices committed upon my peoples I am so tired